Hi guys, Melissa here, and today we're talking about being debt free. Um, now, I've talked a lot about this on my blog, but I've never really talked about it on the YouTube channel, and it's such a big, important thing in my life, and I wanted to share it with you. So before I get started on this whole story, if y'all could just click that little thumbs up button, um, maybe subscribe to my channel, that would help me out a lot, and I appreciate it. Okay, so um, going today on my blog, I posted a blog post that was all about all the different houses that my husband and I had lived in over the past 13 years. Um, since we met and got married, it'll be 13 years this fall. And he is in the army and we have moved, we've lived in 10 houses in those 13 years. And so it was kind of a fun post just to kind of walk down memory lane and share pictures. And um, part of it was to show that um, I feel very blessed and very lucky that we live in such a beautiful house. And one, we're lucky because we live in uh, South Georgia, which has low cost of living. But a big part of it is that I started my blog, which became a full-time job for me. And um, we went through this process starting about four years ago, five years ago, to be debt-free. Now, um, fast forward five years ago, we were living in North Carolina, and we built our dream forever home. Um, you know, we had a BMW and a Ford Expedition parked out front. We put in a swimming pool, and, you know, everything looked great. You know, it was just, just like here, we live in a big, beautiful house, you know, beautiful neighborhood, two cars in the, the, the driveway, you know. Um, the difference was um, back then we had, uh, we had two car payments. I think our car payments at the worst part were like um, $1,500 a month. We were putting out in just car payments for two vehicles. Um, we had gotten a personal loan to put in the pool. So we were paying every month on a pool loan. I had $60,000 in student loan debt and I was a stay at home mom. Um, it was, um, it was stressful. And every month when I paid that student loan, I, um, I felt horrible. And actually that's one of the reasons that I started working to make my blog into income producing is because when I very first started trying to make money for my blog, all I wanted to do was pay that stupid $300 a month student loan payment for a degree that I had not finished because I got married and moved overseas with my husband and I never ever used it. Um, and so when I, when I started working my blog as a business, I just wanted that $300 a month to pay that because I felt stress and I felt shame every month when I was paying on it because I felt stupid for taking out the loans. So a friend of mine that was also a blogger and her husband had become debt free including their house. And I was really inspired by her story and she shared her debt-free scream on Dave Ramsey's show. And I started reading his books and my husband and I started doing the debt snowball, which is his plan for paying off debt, starting with your smallest debt first. And you just knock that thing out until you're done. And then you take everything you're, you were paying on that smallest loan and you paid on the next biggest one. And your payments become bigger and bigger and bigger as you start to pay off those smaller loans. And it helps you make faster progress on the big ones. So um, we started working that and it helped that my blog was taking off as a business because we were used to living on only my husband's income and we were just chucking everything of mine, all the money I was making um, onto the debt. Um, we, the army moved us to Washington DC and we rented out our home in North Carolina. So you can imagine how fun that was to see my old neighbors swimming in my swimming pool that I was still paying monthly payments on from our, you know, going over to our renter's house and swimming in the pool. It was actually like really miserable, you know, and we were living in a little townhouse in DC and someone else is living in our dream house, swimming in our dream pool, and we're still paying payments on it. So it was really motivating to get that debt paid off. And so um, we were checking out that we got rid of all the credit card debts. We used to go on cruises and then we'd be paying them off for months after. And it's just kind of like doing the reverse. So if we wanted to go on vacation, we'd save for it first and pay for it before we went rather than having to pay for it afterwards. So, and that's really the whole concept of being debt free is, you know, just like I don't let my kids buy a toy without saving up for it first. You know, why should I go buy something without having the money, physically having the money first? So it's just doing paying for it before instead of paying for it after. Or it's like not looking in your rear view mirror to see what you did and paying for it later. It's looking ahead, planning for something. 
So we found out we were making good progress. We had paid off our credit card debt. We had paid off, um, I believe, the pool debt. And then we had the two vehicles. And at that point, my husband had an F-150 Raptor. I had an Expedition we had bought brand new. I mean, we had like $100,000 worth of cars sitting in our driveway. It was ridiculous. Um, and we still owed on that house. We had a, a mortgage in North Carolina. And then, of course, the student loan. So then the army tells us, hey, you guys are moving to England. It could be anywhere from one to four years. You'll be overseas. So we put the house in North Carolina up on the market. Luckily, it sold right away. Um, and we were able to pay off um, one of the vehicles and put a big chunk on the other vehicle because we'd only had the house for four years, so we didn't really make much money on it. And then as we got closer to moving to England, we sold both of our vehicles. And when we did that, we were able to be totally debt free. Um, we paid off the student loans. Um, obviously the, the vehicles were paid off and we had no debt at all. It was amazing. Um, unfortunately, we didn't call in and get to do our debt free scream on Dave Ramsey's show because it happened right when we were moving overseas and we just didn't have good phone lines and stuff. But one day we will, when we pay off the house eventually. But so anyways, we got to England and we went from having $100,000 worth of these big SUV, you know, pickup trucks and we bought ourselves, I think it was 3,000 pounds, so about $5,000 little old 16-year-old Land Rover. And you know what? It was okay. You know, like, it, I mean, we were used to driving these super nice vehicles and we went to driving, a, you know, an older thing. It broke down once, you know, whatever got it fixed. It, it was a little annoying to go from driving brand new vehicles to driving something that was so much older. And, um, but we survived and we sold it when we left England and we came back, we saved money the whole time we were in England and we saved money without having all those bills coming out. We were able to save a lot of money, even though we, um, we were traveling all over England, Ireland, Scotland. We went to France, uh, twice, two, three times. Um, we went to France it, we were, we were not roughing it, you know, we were able, but because we weren't getting paid and then passing all our money out to everybody else, we were able to save a ton of money for when we moved back to the United States this past summer, we paid cash for two vehicles. And it was funny because, you know, when you're paying cash for something, I now drive a minivan and it's only a couple years old. It's a great minivan, but when it came time to decide what to buy, it was, well, I can spend twice as much for a similar uh, year and miles, uh, um, mileage SUV, or I can get a minivan. And I realized it's the cool factor isn't worth 20 grand to me. You know, I don't know about you guys. Um, my husband bought uh, an older model v uh, BMW because he can, has a longer commute to work and it's good on gas mileage. And gets him there and back and he'll, we'll save and get him his pickup truck, um, in a couple years. But it, um, we've been able to cash flow the move. We've been, we cash flowed painting our house, getting new furniture. When we moved in, we put a hot tub in. It's amazing. And we were saving aggressively for retirement. We're paying very, very aggressively on this house. And it's just amazing the difference that, that switch in perspective from, you know, I, I deserve a brand new car. I deserve this house. I deserve a pool, but I can't pay for it, but I'll pay for it later. That it's like a weight is lifted off your shoulders and it's been such a huge change and it's so important, um, to me personally. And I talk about it a lot with people I meet with on the blog, you know, on Facebook lives and because it's just been life changing for me. And now I'm raising my children so that they'll never get into debt. And um, I just really encourage anyone out there that is feeling that weight or that guilt or that shame um, and just feeling like you can't get ahead because you're always like, there's no more money left. You get paid and it's just gone immediately because of all of your bills and all of your debt that it is possible to get out from her. I highly encourage you. You know, if you're broke, go to the library, uh, check out Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover book. It's just, it's super easy read. I think I read it in like two days um, and he lays it all out for you. And um, it's just a really, really great place to start and the plan works if you do it. 
So if you have any questions or comments about this, please leave a comment down below and I'll answer you right away. And if there's anything else you want um, me to make a video about, just let me know that too. And I would love it if you guys would just click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. I'm really trying to build this YouTube channel up this year. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.